Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're listening from in the world. My name is Jacqueline Dixon, and you're tuned in to The Ordinary People Show. Ordinary people can do extraordinary things. And we're broadcasting live from Toronto, Canada, powered by GBKM TV Network. In studio today, it is a fantastic day in the GTA. Why? Because we're at stage two. We've arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The premier has given us the okay. And now all systems are go for um, in-person shopping. We can do some in-person shopping in retail establishments um, and a whole plethora of other things that are attached to the stage two uh, protocols. And if you are unsure about them, visit the um, Ontario, the website for the province of Ontario. It lays out all of the various different stages that we are going to eventually pass through and the protocols attached to them. But right now I'm super, super happy uh, that uh, we've been doing our part here at GB Camp and you've been doing your part as a private citizen in ensuring that we bring down the numbers uh, on the this COVID uh, epidemic that we've been facing for the last year and a half. My gosh, whoo. Anyways, we do see the sunshine in the horizon. We will make it through this for sure. But for those of you who are tuning in today, uh, maybe for the first time or even my regular viewers, and you're concerned about um, the COVID um, uh, process, procedures, what's, hap what's happening with COVID, let me just share. Uh, we have uh, been hitting our numbers consistently below 200 now per day in Ontario. Man, that is a huge milestone. And uh, our vaccination rates are going up, 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 up. At last check-in, uh, we were approximately uh, better than 75% vaccinated here in Ontario with the first dose. And we were approaching the 50% mark on the second dose. So um, kudos to all of those who are uh, willing participants in the vaccination process. We respect you uh, for that and uh, keep up the good work. Now, for those who are looking to become vaccinated, there's lots of hope still. Don't worry about it. Uh, we've got the mRNA, which is Moderna, which is, uh, in, all, in all honesty, uh, Moderna and Pfizer are supposedly sister medications. So uh, they're both called mRNA. For those of you who sometimes get confused, I sometimes get confused uh, as well. But Moderna, which seems to be the uh, vaccination of choice is uh, heavily flooded here in Ontario. So if you were looking for the top shelf uh, vaccination product, that would be currently Moderna and that uh, is out there. And for those of you in the Humber River Black Creek area, which is where the GBKM Studios is located because we are the mouthpiece of the community, uh, you can check out today a pop-up clinic. It's happening today and tomorrow and it's located at 995 Arrow Road. That would be the Jamaican Canadian Centre. That pop-up clinic is going to be filled with healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, scientists are gonna be there to answer your questions, any concerns that you might have uh, in regards to the vaccine, before and after effects, all of that good stuff is taking place today at the Jamaican Canadian uh, Centre and uh, MRNA is what they will be providing there. You can go there whether you've had your first dose or maybe you're looking for your second dose. Either one is fantastic if you're in the hotspot area, um, areas of Humber River, Black Creek. So go check out the Canadian, the Jamaican Canadian Centre. Big shout out to them for bringing the black community uh, together in order to uh, 
to deal with this pandemic. And uh, for those of you who uh, enjoy the uh, sweet uh, uh, drum beats of reggae music and all of the um, little festivities that happen in the Caribbean community, you really want to go down there today because they're going to have a great time. There's music and all kinds of other stuff happening at the same time as well. Okay, so don't check. Don't forget to check out uh, 995 Arrow Road today between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. for the COVID-19 vaccination uh, pop-up clinic for the Black community. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste too much time today because I've got a fantastic guest already in studio with me. We're going to chat it up today. Uh, for those of you who follow me on social media, you know what we're going to be talking about. We're talking about support systems in the black community. Are you a member of the black community? Are you an entrepreneur or considering to become an entrepreneur? Um, and you would like to find out about the support systems, if any, that are out there to help you to become as successful as possible, then if that's the case, you don't want to touch that dial, you don't want to move that mouse, you want to sit tight, get yourself a pen and paper, because we're going to be giving you some life-changing information today that could start off your entrepreneurial career, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, before we take our first commercial break, we um, want to thank our sponsor, of course, for giving us the opportunity to be on air today. And that would be none other than New Era Communications. New Era Communications is a professional sales training and speaking platform dedicated to up-and-coming sales professionals and entrepreneurs. Are you looking to master your ability to generate continuous income for your business? then you need to introduce yourself to the sales process. Contact NewEraCommunications.ca for more information. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in. I'm your host, Jacqueline Dixon, and I'm buckling in right now and get ready for a cool ride. We're going to take our first commercial break and be back with our guest, Faith Greaves, founder of the Mosiah Women's Business Center and Mosiah Women's Network and Business Center, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hi, welcome to ZFM's exciting summer program. Last year, the children learned awesome ways of making animation videos. Let's give you a sneak peek of what the children learned last year. This year, we have some exciting programs for this summer. The first program is the cartoon character rigging. This program will teach the children about basic shapes, character designs, character refining, flexi binding, and lots more. This is where children bring their imagination into reality. The program starts from July 5th to July 22nd, and the programs are in three phases. The second program is the kids' choral draw. This is where children learn how to explore their creative mind by using the software to learn how to draw. The program starts from July 26th to July 29th. Details and registration links are on the flyers. Zoom ID will be sent after payment and registration. Hurry up and register quickly for these exciting programs before the seats do you want to be your own boss and make income or extra income with flexible schedule? Welcome to Keenan Courier. Keenan Courier works as a marketplace platform connecting customers who need something delivered with drivers that are willing to serve them. Courier with any vehicle, better trip allocation, and cash out your earnings whenever you want. Download our driver apps today to sign up. Are you craving some home-cooked African meals but are missing the authentic ingredients? No worries. Head over to Dunamis Food Online Groceries at www.mydunamisfood.com to check out our collection of the best quality African and Caribbean foods. From swallows to spices to meats and produce, expect top quality customer service and have your groceries delivered to your door when you shop at Dunamis Food. Don't forget, go to www.mydunamisfood.com and get a taste of home. It'll be like you never left. Dunami's food, keeping you smiling always. Nous vous gardons toujours le sourire. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Ordinary People Show. I'm your host, Jacqueline Dixon, here each and every Saturday from 12:30 to 1:30, and I'm here with an extraordinary guest today and uh, she's no stranger to the GBKM studios. I'm going to turn it over to her now to tell you a little bit more about herself but let me just share that she is the founder of the Mosiah Women's Network Society and she has launched a brand new project which incorporates the Mosiah Women's Network Society of course which is 
a business center located right here in the GTA. Her name is Faith Greaves. She's a philanthropist. She's a community leader. She's an activist. She's an all-around serial entrepreneur and go-getter. And we're going to be talking about everything to do with business and more today. Welcome to the Ordinary People Show, Faith. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you so much for having me here. It's always a pleasure being here. Oh my gosh, we have so much fun. Oh my so God, much fun yes, we, connect, we do, right? we do, yes, we do. I love it, love it. Love we it, go love back, it. we go yes, back on the Ordinary yes. People Show. Um, you know, Faith, I don't uh, often get uh, the opportunity to to really talk it out mm -hmm. with a sister, yes. you know, with a fellow entrepreneur, a person who's not just talking the talk, but walking the walk as mm -hmm. well, um, as, you know, what it's like to be in this skin yes. and be an entrepreneur here in the GTA. And today, um, my listeners, my viewers, and myself, it's gonna, this is juicy for us. So we're gonna get to hear it straight from the horse's mouth, if you want to use that <laughs> term. But um, before we do that, mm -hmm. uh, because we've got a number of topics to, to, yes. to, to cover today, we're talking about uh, the support systems mm -hmm. for an entrepreneur here in the GTA. We're talking about where they're located, who they are, who's controlling these support systems, um, you know, and we're talking about some other auxiliary things too, yes. like a personal accountability yes. and so much more. If you want to be successful, you've got to do what successful people do. Absolutely. So let's hear yes. from Faith Greaves. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. I know a whole bunch about you, but tell, tell my listeners and viewers a little bit more about <laughs> oh you. Oh my gosh, Jackie, this is something I never enjoyed doing, talking about myself, <laughs> because there's so... Leaders, most leaders do yes, have a problem with that. I don't like doing that. So for me, I am a community person. Oh my goodness, for the past 10 years, I was out of the GTA. I was in Calgary, and with uh, being in Calgary means I had to put on a, a new personality, new attitude as to how we're going to connect with the community what it is I'm going to do. So I actually went back to school there in human services and started Mazaya's woman, sorry, actually started Mazaya's shows while I was in college. Mm. Got uh, into an, a, car, a car accident, brought a play with some uh, amazing people from the Toronto area, Marcia Brown, uh, Miss Letna Allen. Uh, the first production was I Need to Know My Father. We brought it out there, oh. which was really good. It was, it, was, uh, uh, it was something that the community needed, and it mm -hmm. was really good for the ones that participated. And from there, we birthed Mazaya's Women's Network Society. And that was more so a community-based organization where the community really worked. And for me, I have a, a natural knack to connect with people and say, let's get it done. Let's make things happen. I am a, let's make it happen. And b with that mindset, you got to attract people who are willing to see the vision and the movement. And so from there, that was Messiah's Women's Network, still doing a lot of work. We did something called mm -hmm. uh, Ring Ding, our children, Teen Talent Show. And that was actually um, orchestrated because I love Miss Louise Bennett Coverly, amazing woman. So so it was dubbed from when I was a kid in Jamaica, Ring Ding, where the kids get to showcase their talent. Mm -hmm. We also did something called um, Mar Marcus Garvey Youth Leadership Awards and Recognition. Again, wow. for the people who know me, they know that I'm a Garvey fan and I'm, and I'm also a Garveyite. Like I, when, I when I was in Jamaica, I, I was the, um, the ladies vice president for the UNIA there and I've learned a lot. So that really transformed me into the person that I am today it moves me because Garvey was a man that he had a vision, he had a mission, he had a purpose and he was ready to work with the people who were ready to work. For the ones who weren't, he just said, you know what, they will come on board when they're, when they're ready. So he was about community, building community, understanding that we as a people, we are king, we are uh, queens, we're princess and we're our, 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 uh, prince of the land and if we were going somewhere we need to identify who we are. This is why he said a people without the knowledge of their past history is like a tree without roots. So we have to know the foundation and where we're coming from in order to know where we're going. So I believe in that strong philosophy of community and working together. So that's another aspect. Wow. And Amazing. my gosh, I went into the insurance industry, worked with a, a couple of um, organizations, loved it. Then I also moved and ran for city council back in 2017. 
and the call was my daughter who said in the end of uh, 2017, Mom, you need to come home. We need you here. Whatever you're doing in Calgary, you can do it there. And so that journey was like, okay, yes, I'll come home. Didn't have a timetable because I just said yes because she needed to hear yes. But she made it her duty to come out there in 2018, the May, and packed me up and said, you're coming home. So I'm all about community. Anything to do with community and building abundant community, which means you got to work hard. It's not about the lip service. It's about the actual doing the work. It's grassroots, starting somewhere in order to get to your destination. So when I got here, what I did, I was watching to see what was going on in this beautiful community because while I was in Calgary, nothing, nothing entertained me more or pleased me more to talk about my beautiful city, Toronto, mm -hmm. and the people and how they're connected and they're doing this and they're doing that and also looking on social media to see what they were doing. So it's always a great memory and a mm -hmm. place here in, on, in Ontario and in Toronto. So when she brought me home, trust me, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. <laughs> and I decided to even go back to school. I went back to school and I was in school for about seven months. And where I am today with Mazaya's Professional Business Center, that was, okay, we've got to add something on to Mazaya's. We're, and we're going to get to that. Okay, that's we're going to get jump. to that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get so to that. So it's all... But it's all about community and it's right. all about working hard. I never like to talk about the things that I've done. You know, one of the, the, the nicest thing I've had the opportunity to is to sit with those folks that are driving our communities, our country, our, our, our um, wards, our, our, our territories. And they give me insight in regards to how we as a people are mm -hmm. because they've already studied us. And that's mm -hmm. something that we need to identify that we need to get out of this uh, mindset of being studied always and there's no progress. And we are the ones that need to understand in order for us to have success, we have to get out of the box. Mm -hmm. We have to start looking at each other as you are mm -hmm. my sister, you're my brother, I'm here to support you. Mm -hmm. And let's make it happen. Stop doing this. Mm -hmm. Stop talking. There's so much to do. So I'm an action-driven person. And with that action, it motivates me to move forward. Mm -hmm. Not only that, I'm also a God-fearing person. So with mm -hmm. that mindset, the journey that I'm on, it's just amazing because I view myself as a vessel. The vessel being used to mm -hmm. get what needs to get done. So, okay. lots to do. You, it does. It's a, you about. know what? I, I said, listen, you need to share because I know that your, your background is, is, is very colorful and it's very full. Oh, um, and there's never a dull moment in your life. You're always doing something. So I wanted you to, to uh, be able to get an opportunity to share with the listeners and viewers who are not familiar with all of the various different things that you've got your hands involved mm -hmm. with. Uh, so I'm sure that everybody can now uh, appreciate quite a bit uh, where you're coming from. But, you know, you talked about um, a, one of the mentors in your life being Marcus Garvey. And uh, I couldn't think of a better mentor when it comes to uh, grassroots, uh, you know, uh, grassroots projects and, and, and the whole ideal of community mm -hmm. um, he is an exemplary yes. uh, model for that so if yes. that's where your desire to mm -hmm. work with your community is coming from I couldn't think of a better a better mentor now so let's let's break it down now because we do have a lot to talk about uh -huh. you've got a lot that you want to share and we have a lot together that we want to share with you the listener and the viewer so Mazaya's Woman Center. Uh, first, we want to talk about the black community mm -hmm. and the support systems within the black community. Did you know that the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs right now are black females? Mm -hmm. The fastest yes. growing group of entrepreneurs are black women, and that is in North America statistically yes proven uh, that we are the fastest growing group. Why? Why is it so that black females are, do you believe, are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs right now? Do you, do you have any reason to 
think yeah. that you have an understanding of it? Of course. I mean, there is a vision, and you have to literally want to step out of your comfort zone in order to attain it. Our brothers, so we're just going to go a little bit back. Our brothers have been beaten down. And because of that beating down, they lose their own self, self um, identity, mm -hmm. self driven determination. And we ourselves also beat them down. That's the, the truth of the matter. And as women, we're nurturers, we're mothers, we're foundations, we're aunts, we're, we're sisters. So when it comes to getting and pulling ourselves up by the bootstrap, we're going to go out there. We're going to face it. We're going to face oppression. We're going to um, face discrimination. We're going to face challenges. We're going to face from within our own circle problems, confusion, yeah. but because of the mindset and mm -hmm. the psyche and to know where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Some of us have seen our mothers raise us single-handedly without a father. Mm -hmm. Some have seen us raised within a family and mom takes on this role and this leadership as to what she has to offer. Some of us mothers are by themselves mm -hmm. and trying to do. Mm -hmm. So we, as we are growing older, we realize that we have to make a difference. We have to mm -hmm. see the need to see that this cup, it doesn't belong here. It belongs over there. What do I need to get it? to move over there. Okay. So we have to empower each other. We mm -hmm. have to show so, that So you think that, um, that one of the reasons why that uh, black women are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs is out of the despairs and the various different traumas um, that they were, they have experienced whether willingly or unwillingly. And from there they found a strength that they didn't know that they had. And now they're transferring that strength into uh, business ownership. It's, it's, it's very, you know, That's, it's very yes. plausible, yes. very plausible. That's okay. a part of it too. And okay. some are just knowing they decided, Hey, education, I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with it. And then mm -hmm. they, they, they put themselves with people who are going to push them up, who believe in them, who Good. is there to be a mentor, a guide, a support system, a coach, a father, a mother, and mm -hmm. it helps them to push themselves up. It helps them to get to their destination. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of things in, cup in couples. So it's like fitting it in tightly for them to get to their destination, and they're willing to go that extra mile. Good, good yes. stuff, good stuff. Well, that is the facts. Uh, black females are the fastest growing group. Now, being a female entrepreneur is not an, an easy decision to make. A lot of uh, black females, as you have mentioned, by the time they pull the plug on becoming an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. they're, matter of fact, well into their midlife. Yes. Uh, and uh, the vast majority of them are 40 plus, Absolutely. and is, is what statistics are showing yes. us. And they weren't really, say, cut out for this uh, journey, mm -hmm. so they need a lot of help. They of need, course, a, there's a lot of supports that uh, any individual choosing to go into business is going to need. Trust me on yes. that. Uh, there's research that needs to be mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. There is education that needs to be consumed. And then there's the time, the willingness, and the effort, yes. and of course, discipline uh, that is needed in order to guarantee your success. Yes. So all of these things put together can be extremely overwhelming for so many entrepreneurs that are out there. So what uh, are they to do? You ask yourself, you know, where can I go to get the support systems? And I was looking at the black community specifically mm -hmm. within Ontario, and then I kind of zoomed into the GTA. Yeah. And... Um, I don't know if you're familiar with some of these organizations, if you would consider them support systems. We've got one organization called the BBPA, yes. which is the Black Business, Business Professional, Professional Association. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got them. We've also recently uh, uh, acquired a Black Chamber of Commerce, Commerce. Yes. here in the, the GTA as well. Yeah. Are you aware of any more... Um, other than those two that are out there doing 
the work uh, to, to help support uh, businesses or entrepreneurs within the black community? There are so many. There literally are so many. I think one of the things that we need to look at is to also merge some of these great uh, talents and skills that is being offered because they're there but we don't know that they exist. Mm -hmm. So you've got, for example, there's a, of course the Jamaican uh, Canadian Association with mm -hmm. the, they have a sit and sister um, organization, I think they're called SOCAN. Okay. So, yes, so, mm -hmm. SOCAN. There's also Ryan Knight with his organization, which is the NCBA, and there is a National Policy Alliance, there is Carifica, so they're all about community mm -hmm. and community-based. Mm -hmm. National Policy Alliances is about the policy making of uh, the organization, and they also have a chapter in the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. um, Ryan also have a, or, uh, a a company that he does within the in the summer for our kids. It's called. Um, Nights detailing, I think. Please don't kill me, not Ryan, if I didn't say it correctly. But is, that is also to empower our youngsters who are looking for summer opportunities, jobs. He create these opportunities. Oh my goodness, there is the um, the Nigerian Association. So there's so many organizations that are out there doing great work. We also have on board. There's the um, the North Black North, I think. Mm -hmm. Black mm -hmm. North Initiative, yeah, they're mm -hmm. on board as well. So, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a Black Funds opportunity. There's a mm -hmm. lot of them, okay. but great. So there are some yes. support systems out there. Yes, okay? there's a lot. There are some <laughs> yes. support systems out there, <laughs> as primarily in Ontario. Yes. These ones are op operating in Ontario that mm -hmm. that we've mentioned uh, just recently. And um, but you know what the question then is? Okay. Who is controlling them? Mm -hmm. And what, you know, where are they located? What exactly are they doing or can they do for small to medium sized businesses? Or maybe that individual who hasn't pulled a plug yet, but they're seriously considering becoming an entrepreneur. What are these organizations really doing? Because, because the question is that is circulating in the community is, what are they really what are they doing? doing? Yes, what are they doing? Um, how much help are they really bringing to the black community? Yes. And are we seeing uh, some, some, some quantitative, quantitative results coming from these mm -hmm. organizations yes. that are supposedly out there to help the small business person or the entrepreneur. Uh, this, is, this is the question that's, yes. that's really floating around. And we're wondering if, if it's, if it's simply just the same old, same old uh, group of, of businesses or entrepreneurs that are getting uh, assistance mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and are, you know, and leaving out so many others. Uh, do you, what do you have to say about that? I think we need to really do a self-reflection of the organization. The organization themselves need to do a self-reflection as to how we can better the grassroot organization plus the people that really need the services within the community. Mm -hmm. What is it that we're doing? Number one, one of the things I think they should do is have a, a uh, what do you call it, a trade show? Why a trade show? So people identify who they are. There shouldn't be mm -hmm. worrying about I'm better and I shouldn't be here or this one shouldn't be here. That's a great Everyone idea. Should That's be a there. great idea. Everyone should be there. If they are about changes, if they're about wanting to help the community, they all need to say, let's do, I'm not talking about a forum, I'm talking about a trade show where people can mm -hmm. come in and literally understand and know what services mm -hmm. you provide and also offer services that will impact the community and individual lives. Fantastic idea. Now let's talk about this trade show because that's a real solution right mm -hmm. there. Is that rather than finding piece, piece, piece of, of information out there, why not bring all of these organizations under one roof mm -hmm. to have a trade show, which is quite often happens in mm -hmm. other types yes. of communities. And that way it's one-stop shopping exactly. for those who attend. Um, and they can just go around to the various different booths and find out. Yes. So we need somebody to champion something like that because I don't think that's ever taken place no. to the best of my ability, best of my knowledge. I, I 
do not know that something like that has ever taken place because to be able to have the BBPA along with, uh, you know, FACE, which is another the organization, yes. which is, you know, behind the Black Entrepreneurs Fund, which we're going to talk mm -hmm. about in a little bit, um, along with the Jamaican Canadian mm -hmm. Center and the Ryan Knights and whoever else is out mm -hmm. there, you know, yes. cl you know, claiming to be support systems for the black community, if they're all under one roof, um, making it easy access, that yes. would be an absolutely fabulous, I think so. fabulous idea. Yes, I it would be. I, we need that. that. We yeah. need that. Yeah, absolutely. So the support systems that are in place, have you personally as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. ever tried to utilize any of the support systems and what was your experience like? I have tried utilizing a couple of them. One of the things I find with um, our community, these little cliques I don't like. Mm -hmm. And when I say cliques, it's like who is going to get you to your destination versus who's going to sit and watch you fall through the crack. We need to stop that. We need to value our people. We need to value our community. We need to see, okay, Jackie Dixon have these qualities. We need her to do this. It shouldn't be about, hey, she's not worthy of or he's not worthy of. And I'm not being apologetic about what I'm saying today okay. because I'm speaking from experience. We need to stop putting up roadblocks for people. If we value our communities, we will want to see everyone thrive. Okay. Make sense? We, okay. we want to see people thrive to be able to get to their destination. We want to make things easier for them to get to their so destination. So you feel that there's some, in, in certain instances, based on your personal experience, mm -hmm. that um, some of these organizations have been a hindrance to you? They've been a hindrance. And if, they're, if they've been a hindrance to me, how many other organization and individual would feel this way? But because I'm very in your face kind Vocal. of a person, I will say it. I, okay. if, if you choose to block me, ban me, I don't care. Because that is how Garvey is. He's running and he has no time to look back. Okay. So today we need to understand if we're about community, we need to display it, we need to showcase it, we need to do it because the sad thing is our governments already studied our behavior and they know how we operate. So they'll put a few organization in as the traps to see, okay, let them deal with it because we know we're not gonna get the results that we're supposed to get, but let them deal with it. So we have to show them in regards to the people that we are. I remember one of my counselors said to me, you're a black community, you're about having fun, partying, and there's no educational components, and there's no continuation of the services that you do. And I had to prove him wrong because I said, listen, we have educated people amongst us. We have people who want to make a change. We have people who's gonna say, I'm putting my life out there because I believe in my community. So we have to step up and step out and bring everyone who's willing. Okay, all right, yes. so what it sounds like to me, and this is good, this is yes. really good stuff. You know, and I always, w what's important here is that you are speaking from your perspective mm -hmm. and your experience. So you're speaking your truth and nobody can take your truth from you because your truth is your truth. Absolutely. So what it sounds like to me, and which is a sentiment that I have heard from others, okay, and I will, okay. you know, back you up on that, that there is, there is a, a, a chosen group of, of organizations that um, are the gatekeepers mm -hmm. for yes. the entire black community, entrepreneurial community, uh, which is not, which is, which, which is not a monolithic community. We are comprised of many different people from many different backgrounds yes. and many different levels of education with many different types and of aspirations. Mm -hmm. So um, knowing all of that, uh, it's very, very important to not exclude mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing yes. uh, certain individuals because maybe they don't fit the profile for exactly. being a yes. part of Profile, but the that's persona, persona that you want to give is is that something it could similar be, to what you're it trying could to say, be, or or we have a tendency of also this thing like to listen to things and instead of investigate 
and allowing persons to be. If, for example, if your sweater is worn backwards and without your knowledge, my responsibility is to let you know, Jackie, uh -huh. your sweater is on backwards. Uh -huh. How are we going to get people to their destination if we're not really truly helping them? We should not be the gatekeepers that block people. We should not be the gatekeepers that make things more challenging for people. Because well, what, what do you understand. have to say about you're not, a, you know, you've got to be on the inner circle. You've got to be one of us. You've got to be in agreement with the way that we think, we behave, and, 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 and move in the circle that we move mm -hmm. in and mm -hmm. what if, what if you're just not one of those types of people do you not get the additional help and support that you need uh, in order for your business project to to take off because you're not you I don't fit fit in <laughs> I think that's what we do to each other is, sad is to that say. what you feel I think okay. we do that to each other I mean it's um if you look at history and stats this is the norm within us. Okay, all right. This is a norm within us. So it might be a generational thing mm -hmm. uh, that we are yes. dealing with. That even though we've got all of these organizations out there mm -hmm. and 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 they're they're supposed to be in place, um, that it's they're still being they're still being run by people that have underlining issues. <laughs> I like is, that is, underlining issues. Yes, <laughs> as to who so, should be allowed into the games. Okay, who all right, should all be right. allowed. Okay, good, yes. fair enough. So, but at the end of the day, we still have to persevere. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. We have to persevere, and if it's on your heart that you believe that you can bring something of value to the community, to 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 the general mm -hmm. public, then you need to persevere. Persevere, persevere regardless absolutely um, and we're gonna talk about how you can do that without necessarily joining any of these cliques can you still be a successful entrepreneur in the black community without being a part of these cliques we're gonna be right back after this quick commercial break to talk about the solutions the steps and the processes that you can take for yourself to guarantee your success don't go anywhere we'll be right back are filled up. See you there. Hi, welcome to ZFM's exciting summer program. Last year, the children learned awesome ways of making animation videos. Let's give you a sneak peek of what the children learned last year. This year, we have some exciting programs for this summer. The first program is the cartoon character rigging. This program will teach the children about basic shapes, character designs, character refining, flexi binding, and lots more. This is where children bring their imagination into reality. The program starts from July 5th to July 22nd, and the programs are in three phases. The second program is the kids coral draw. This is where children learn how to explore their creative minds by using the software to learn how to draw. The program starts from July 26th to July 29th. Details and registration links are on the flyers. Zoom ID will be sent after payment and registration. Hurry up and register quickly for these exciting programs before the seats are do you want to be your own boss and make income or extra income with flexible schedule? Welcome to Keenan Courier. Keenan Courier works as a marketplace platform connecting customers who need something delivered with drivers that are willing to serve them. Courier with any vehicle, better trip allocation, and cash out your earnings whenever you want. Download our driver apps today to sign up. Are you craving some home-cooked African meals but are missing the authentic ingredients? No worries. Head over to Dunamis Food Online Groceries at www.mydunamisfood.com to check out our collection of the best quality African and Caribbean foods. From swallows to spices to meats and produce, expect top quality customer service and have your groceries delivered to your door when you shop at Dunamis Food. Don't forget, go to www.mydunamisfood.com and get a taste of home. It'll be like you never left. Dunami's food, keeping you smiling always. Nous vous gardons toujours le sourire. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Ordinary People Show. My name is Jacqueline Dixon. Thank you for tuning in with us today. For those of you who are just joining us or or uh, maybe uh, you, maybe for those of you who are just joining us, we have a fantastic guest in studio today, Faith Greaves. She's the founder of the Mosiah Women's Network Society. And she's here to talk about uh, support systems within the black community and her latest project, the launch of the Messiah Woman Messiah Woman's Business Center, which is located right here in the GTA. So 
welcome again, Faith. Just before the break, we were talking about the various different ongoing mm -hmm. um, organizations which are out there uh, right. supposedly to support members of the black community for those who want to become an entrepreneur. And in many cases, we've heard stories where, you know, they felt that the door was shut on them or they felt mm -hmm. that they were excluded, they didn't fit the profile. And in certain cases, some of them literally gave up their hope of becoming an entrepreneur mm -hmm. or decided, I'm going to just do it on my own. And it's tough. It is. On your own. You need yes. a support system. You need a community. You need people behind you mm -hmm. who can help you with the research and the education um, and the training in order to be a successful entrepreneur. Yes, Hence why you are here today. You, having had that experience yourself, decided mm -hmm. that you were going to provide a solution okay. to individuals who didn't want to be a part of that uh, experience and give them a new one with the Mazaya Business Center. Tell us about this Mazaya Business Center. What is it exactly? Okay. Where is it located? All right. So Mazaya's Professional Business Center is located, yes, in the heart of the city. We're right at 10 Belfield Road, and that's the intersection of Kiplin and Belfield. So it's like coming in from the east to the west, you're sl literally slitting off the highway and in the facility. We have a bus stop uh, adjacent to the building as well as in front of the building. We're four minutes away from our beautiful airport. We are about 15 minutes from the uh, train, the subway station, and about 20 minutes from downtown. Uh, we also have the GO train, which is a two-minute walk right behind us. Wow. We're sitting on prime real estate, and we are like uh, 10,000 square feet of pure space. We've got office space that we lease out, so we have um, executive office as well. They're furnished, and they come with your own personal coffee maker as well as wa okay. hot water. So Don't just, tell to back it up, <laughs> just to back it up a little bit and so that my listeners and viewers know that I personally have visited mm -hmm. uh, the business center. I was invited to, to come and tour of the Messiah Women's Business Center and I, and I took faith up on that uh, offer and boy was I blown away. I was absolutely blown away. She's exactly correct. Where you are situated as far as location mm -hmm. is perfect. Whether you are public transit user or you are you drive, drive the highway access, fantastic, lots of ample parking mm -hmm. and all of the rest. So what you offer is a community business um, address mm -hmm. in a sense, right? Yes, we offer that as well. So yes. it's 10,000 square feet, in which case you rent um, offices Office. out to individuals who mm -hmm. would like to run their business out of the center. Am yes. I correct? Yes. So for those individuals who would like to run their business out of the center, what are some of the benefits okay. that you would get for for becoming a tenant within the Messiah Business okay. Center. So there's access to our boardroom because we do rent the boardrooms as well. And uh, there is internet, internet accessibility. We also, uh, there's printing packages that is designed for the tenants. And you also have the opportunity to use the other services that we offer. We have a green room, we have a peel box, training room, we have hot spots too for persons, entrepreneurs who are, you know, starting up your satellite companies, your corporate that is downsizing, there's those hot spot desks that are available for you to rent as well. So there's a lot of things that we offer within. There is also business consult consulting. There's media. We have a green right. room as well for persons who want to come in and do media, whether it's their photo shoots, whether it's a podcast, whatever. We ensure that the the business center is equipped for multifunctioning activities. This activity. sounds yes. absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Coming out of this pandemic, um, research has shown us that there is a number of people that will not be worth returning to the traditional workplace. Yes. And as a result of that, they have decided now to become an entrepreneur. And um, you are going to decide to do one of two things. You're either going to have to set up shop within your own home mm -hmm. in order to become an entrepreneur, or you're going to need to go rent an office space somewhere in order to conduct business. What you're offering them mm -hmm. is to come and 
rent already pre-designed office spaces within this complex mm -hmm. uh, that come equipped with absolutely everything, even a coffee maker. Yes. <laughs> free coffee. <laughs> You've got free coffee at your service. So, you know, we want to make sure that people What about are a reception? What we is there a reception? Is, yes. is that reception area? Is, yes. is she shared between all the other business? To be, within well, the businesses? Well, if they need the service, they can, full, of course, uh, request the service as okay. well. And we do have virtual office assistants. And we also, my, my apologies, we also offer office uh, support for people who have their own business at home, mm -hmm. VPN services, so persons who need that high-speed internet, uh, whether it's cable, telephone yeah. services, we offer that for the um, the clients who are working. Starting up a business, it's, I mean, it's not that, there's a lot of money involved. We're Absolutely. talking about getting fax machines and printers and mm -hmm. computers. And you're saying that your business center provides all of that as yes. well. Yes. So you can literally uh, decide mm -hmm. to start your business tomorrow. Yes. You're, you're ready to go. You can start, you can start uh, as seeing little, clients. As little as $20 per hour you can meet your clients in the facility and you've been there you see the space how it looks yes my responsibility was to ensure that it has a presence it had a certain look to it so when you come in you feel yes this is a place that i want mm -hmm. to be in so whether i whether i decide to uh, move my entire business operation mm -hmm. in the building yes. or i simply just want to use the building services for specific things yes. like my um, corporate meetings or yes. um, to training. interview for training for my staff right. or to meet a client. I can rent the yes. boardroom, the training room, yes. and the media room for those specific right. services. Yes, and also if you need a P.O. box, because one of the things is you do not want to invite intruders into your home. So you need a professional mailing address, so we offer that as well. So those are the P.O. box, and we have the VIP in the regular P.O. box as well. We try to ensure that we're looking at the entire piece as to what people need. So you might not have everything that uh, you, you, you can have in reference to renting an office, but you have the services there that will allow you to set up your business mm -hmm. so that you can move forward. But the other wonderful thing that I really liked about your place is that um, if I, you know, choosing to to set up my business from within your facility, mm -hmm. I have my own office and my office space. Yes. But then I'm also a part of a bigger community yes. as well. Yes. So that if I need any supports, there are other businesses within the building yes. that I can lean on of for course. that knowledge, that support. I understand that you're planning on bringing in training trainers in there at various yes. different times to help these small business people yes. out by providing training programs and workshops and seminars Efforts. that they can media that they can and media yes. so that they can take part in. Of course, uh, and build well. and grow their business. So it makes a huge difference as to how I view our community. Our motto is for people to connect and make things happen. So you want to network and you want to know that the people, the persons next door beside you, you can use their service and vice versa. You can connect and you can make great things happen. And so that's what our facility is about. That's wonderful. Yes. That's wonderful. That's a great concept. Mm -hmm. So now um, that's the business center and you've got lots of, uh, can you give us an idea as to um, how small of an office you could get up to uh, how large of an office space you can get? I think we have our largest office. I think it's 13 feet by 16 because I'm just going off head knowledge here. And I think the smallest one is um, 10 by uh, 11 or so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things I like about the office too, the way they are set up, you can have multiple business. So for example, you have your business, a uh, colleague have a business, and you want to come together, you can rent that space together, but you'd have your own uh, lease right. in, in, in that regard. Because we right. want to ensure that we are supporting our community. We understand that COVID, COVID has made a huge impact as to how we do business today. And we don't want to leave anyone behind. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the business center. Mm -hmm. 
So within that um, framework, yes. there is another operation, a not-for-profit operation, yes. I understand, yes. that runs from within the business center, and right. that is the Mosiah Women's Networks. Network. Network. Can you tell us yes. about that? Because I know that's been your baby <laughs> for a while. That's my baby, yes. <laughs> hey, my baby for a long while from and, Calgary. It's yeah. not a today... Uh, thing and this is where those programs come into play. The yeah. ring ding, our Marcus Garvey Youth Leadership Awards. Yeah. I, I I love it. So what are you doing for the women? What so, are you doing for the women through this particular okay. not for profit? So let me get straight to the point. So last year was quite challenging for us. So when we yeah. got this facility, we got the space in October mm -hmm. of last year, and that was when everything was shut down. It was just cleaning and painting and organizing how we're going to make the space look. And I like to say how we, mm -hmm. and really the we is my father up there, okay? okay? Because to acquire that space, it's he had a partner, lot. It's the best part Exactly. To he was the one and still is driving that uh, ship, the car. And so I'm the vessel that is being used. So that period from October right back to, 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 the, to this date, we're still making sure that all those elements are together. Mm -hmm. So one of the greatest thing that we did, and we were doing it from last, um, I think in the summer, is the feeding program. So we were feeding people um, on Saturdays, so seniors and so forth. And we were privileged to receive a small grant in December that helped us too. So we were able to Wonderful. get some additional um, items on board to support. And so, that was what we're focusing. So every Saturday, we feed at least 53 shut-in seniors. Wow. 53 shut-in seniors. And right now, how we're able to support that is my friends and my colleagues, and they would help in regards to putting things together. And also, one of the church that has been a big, big, a huge impact to us is, um, oh my gosh, uh, my goodness, I can't think of the name of the organization. But anyways, this church okay. is just amazing. Fruitful okay. distribution. Okay. Sister and sister, Pastor Susan. So out of husband. the Women's Network, you, you one of the things that you do through the Women's Network is you feed the elderly. Yes. Okay. Anything and else? anyone else who needs a support. So we have a food bank going okay. there as well. All right. And so what we're doing right now is creating a program for the seniors for the fall. And we are going to be looking at... Um, uh, teaching them how to use a cell phone okay, and also so awesome. while they're at home exercising and we have a nurse on board that is going to ensure that they are okay not just um, health wise but also um, spiritually and mindset so we've got some great people that are coming on board that are helping us okay. uh, we're starting our um, children's program later on in and the these year. are all going to be done from yes. within the facility within, itself yes. the business center itself yes. so okay. under Mosiah's women's network society so we have the Mosiah legacy seniors okay so that's where our seniors coming to play we have Mosiah's children's network so the children is from age four to 12 okay. because you got to bend the branch before it grows up into a tree right all right because you have to set directions for them so we have mentorship for them and uh, financial wellness a number of programs that we have laid out wonderful we also have the youth we can't forget about them so we've got Mosiah big up the youth we thought that was uh, something that will attract them and so our youth start from age 13 to, to, to 29 and there's a program that we're building. It's called Pull Up Your Pants because our kids, really, our kids really need to understand what that really means. Okay. And we also have the Mosiah Woman of the North. Okay. And so the Woman of the North now is, is ensuring that the younger women who are aspiring to be leaders, they have the tools that they need to be successful because that's what we're talking about. We need to ensure that they are successful. We also have the family portion where our brothers are involved because we believe that we need to strengthen the family. The mm -hmm. family is so dis disarray, fragmented mm -hmm. today, and it needs that support system. And within the family, we're also trying to get the arm of the big brother, big sister, because we need that. Mm -hmm. We need that support. Our this boys is amazing. Need so all of these things are taking place 
They're working under the uh, yes umbrella and within yes. the Messiah Business Woman, yeah. okay, Center. Yes, yes, yes. yes Amazing. Yes. But there's one particular product that you yes. shared with me. Oh yes. Um, prior to the interview that I thought this is absolutely amazing. And then your reasoning for, for going out and fighting to get this product mm -hmm. offered through the Messiah Business uh, Women's Woman. Network yes. is amazing. Yes. And that's called life insurance. Yes, yes. Now, I mean, I know a lot of not-for-profit organizations, a lot of women's uh, groups, a lot of men's groups out there. I don't know any of them that offer life insurance mm -hmm. and you felt that this was an absolutely mandatory thing a necessity because you said that our community is in need yes. can you share us what 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 do you mean by that okay so we have a group insurance and that was worked on from last may with one of the ladies in our platform uh, this woman is from phenomenal because she worked over nine months to get to grab us this package from one of the most reputable uh, insurance uh, organization in Canada mm -hmm. well-known well-established organization and so she really worked hard I remember one point she said faith I can't find any organization is going to support us they all say no they all say this I said no you got to find it and so <laughs> she connected with the, and, and that's where they yes let's get it done mindset comes in mm -hmm. so she worked with another fabulous amazing brother and they were able to get the group insurance for our community our membership so once you are a member of Mosiah's Women's Network Society, mm -hmm. you can access the group insurance. So the group insurance include life insurance, accidental death and dismemberment, uh, dental, uh, help me out, hospital, mm -hmm. semi-private yeah, hospital um, safe. I was reading some of the massage and, yeah, massage and, and all of that. A huge package and it is affordable because my attitude is when I came back in 2018, I was seeing so much death within the black community, whether it's a child, whether it's a male, female, whomever, there was just too many. And then what really bothered me is that we are a brand community. And when I use the word brand, you know where I'm coming from. Yes, yes. Yes, we're a brand community. And if we're yeah. a brand community, why is it that we are not branding our lives? Why is it that our family have to pick up the pieces when we are not there? Why is it that we're not setting up foundation for them? So when we, unfortunately, isn't there, they can go and bury you. I mean, you just put it like that. They can lay you to rest uh, with peace mm -hmm. and dignity. Instead of using the platform, go fund me. Mm -hmm. We use it to aid and when we don't have to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can't always it, just you know what? Good. It's 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 a valid it's a valid valid point. Mm -hmm. And when you brought that up, it hit me like, oh my god, I never even connected yes. the fact that yes, um, we are out there branding ourselves with you know top line, top notch clothing mm -hmm. and 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 uh, hair, uh, uh, hair nails, nails whatever but it is. we're not carrying in many cases the basic necessities that individuals yes. and families need yes. to carry and that is life insurance exactly. uh, because if there's anything that you can count on it's death exactly. right at exactly. some point uh, yes. it's gonna happen and and here's what I you know when you shared that with me I thought I've got to get you on to to so that yes. you can tell people how easy and simple it is okay. to join the Messiah Women's Network mm -hmm. join this uh, insurance okay. plan uh, with you yes. you don't have to be working you don't have to be none of that kind of stuff you can just simply join on to her network start making your monthly premiums mm -hmm. and you've got all of these insurance benefit. benefits and and prescription drugs and masseuse and all that kind of stuff as if you were working for IBM exactly. so um, it's not often that something like this can happen for the community mm -hmm. for those of you out there who do not have this in place for your family yet I urge you I mm -hmm. really urge you reach out uh, to this lady because it's amazing that she was able to get this contract uh, secured um, 
We've yes. seen it too many times. Too go fund me. Many, go fund yes, me. Go, go fund, fund me. me. Go fund me. And using it for the wrong cause. It's really there when you need to empower your your your, your sports league or whatever it is. But it should never be used for that purpose because it's not like we cannot afford it. We have to look and shift our priorities and say family first. Family first. And the beauty about this group insurance. You don't have to worry about doing a blood and work. It's cheap. You, exactly. Blood work, taking a urine uh, test or so because you're under a blanket plan. A blanket plan means that you are covered. So this is what they would offer yeah. any group insurance. It's fantastic. So, I'm yeah. very, very, you know, and I, you know, I, I can't talk for all of the black community, yes. but I just really want to applaud you for, for that one thing alone mm -hmm. uh, for providing a solution to members of the black community right now that are walking around without life insurance. And if you want to know how to build generational wealth, the yes. people are going to tell you uh, real estate and all that kind of stuff. Let me tell you something. You know how generational wealth was built for other communities? Life insurance. insurance. Life okay? insurance, yes. Life insurance is how other communities were able to successfully build generational wealth. Uh, and as I said yes. at the opening of the show, if you want to be successful, you have to do what successful people do. Absolutely. Anyways, listen, you and I can talk forever <laughs> oh and ever gosh, and ever. Yes. We're wrapping up the show now. We need to know how to get a hold of you. Sure. How do we get down to the Messiah Woman's, uh, um, how do we get involved with the insurance? And how do we check out the business center to see whether or not it's it's one that can work for Of course. So for again, you. telephone number for the office is 416-244-332. 3332 or yes my cell I like to give that number out it's 416-472-7437 you can also email us at info at mosiah m-o-z-i-a mosiah p-b-c-i dot com or mosiah women's network society dot com you can also check us out on our uh, on our website www.mazayaswomensnetworksociety.com or Mazaya's Professional Business Center uh, Inc. dot com. I got to think about it, but yes, you can check it out and look at uh, look at also our Facebook uh, handlers. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you YouTube. It. Yes, we're there. <laughs> You can even search for my name and you'll see it pop up. Faith yeah. Greaves. Very easy. You'll, you'll make some connection. But I'm going to tell you, folks, mm -hmm. ensure what is more value, valuable to you, to you, and that's your family. And I'm going to tell you one thing. With insurance, what it does, it replaces an income lost due to premature death. So set your family up for success. Do something different today. Do something for you so your family can benefit. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to join Messiah, but start looking at what you need to do. Successful people will hang out and support and work with successful people. And we, we are very successful people. So all we need to do is get out of our comfort zone, okay? Get out of our comfort zone and start doing what we need to do. Connect, connect with people who will make impacts in your life. Thank fantastic you. fantastic i'm so super excited i thought that was awesome and i had to bring her here to share that good news listen ordinary people can do extraordinary things do you know how you go from being an ordinary person to an extraordinary person you do exactly what faith has done which is stop talking about what you want to do in life and start doing it yeah. and that's what she did she stopped talking about providing solutions and she went out and started to provide the solutions hence the Mosiah Women's Business Network um, the Mosiah Women's Business Center and so many more of her projects let's give faith um, a helping hand let's support her and if you don't have any life insurance or you're looking for an office space, contact her ASAP or contact GBKM TV and we will uh, connect you with Faith. 
Faith, I just want to thank you so much for joining me here today. We're looking forward to celebrating with you at your business center. We know that we're going to be there a lot yes. uh, because, uh, you know, we want, to, we want to celebrate the success with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You. And thank you, the listeners and the viewers, for tuning in today. And if you're watching uh, this uh, episode live, then sh like and share the video, please. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you're watching it on demand, Faith is waiting to hear from you. Give her a call. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to sign off today from another excellent episode of The Ordinary People Show. We'll be back same time, same place right here next week on GBKM TV. Don't forget to follow The Ordinary People Show on Facebook. They've got their own page at The Ordinary People Show. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Cheers. Hi, welcome to ZFM's exciting summer program. Last year, the children learned awesome ways of making animation videos. Let's give you a sneak peek of what the children learned last year. This year, we have some exciting programs for this summer. The first program is the cartoon character rigging. This program will teach the children about basic shapes, character designs, character refining, flexi binding, and lots more. This is where children bring their imagination into reality. The program starts from July 5th to July 22nd, and the programs are in three phases. The second program is the kids' coral draw. This is where children learn how to explore their creative minds, by using the software to learn how to draw. The program starts from July 26th to July 29th. Details and registration links are on the flyers. Zoom ID will be sent after payment and registration. Hurry up and register quickly for these exciting programs before the seats are filled up. See Do you want to be your own boss and make income or extra income with flexible schedule? Welcome to Keenan Courier. Keenan Courier works as a marketplace platform connecting customers who need something delivered with drivers that are willing to serve them. Courier with any vehicle, better trip allocation, and cash out your earnings whenever you want. Download our driver apps today to sign up. Are you craving some home-cooked African meals but are missing the authentic ingredients? No worries. Head over to Dunami's Food Online Groceries at www.mydunamisfood.com to check out our collection of the best quality African and Caribbean foods. From to spices to meats,